They shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Good news for someone this morning. God is saying to someone this morning, you shall not go empty. He said, and when ye go, you shall not go empty. Welcome to this special impartation service. God is going to visit you and give you your takeaway today. After every rich feast, like we have heard, during this special celebration, prophetic feast, there is always what we call takeaway. You have eaten, you are fat, there is so much still remaining that the owner of the feast does not want to waste. And so they package them together for each person and they take it to their side and they whisper to them, this is for your takeaway. Today, God is giving us takeaway. I said, this morning, God is giving you takeaway. In some forum, they also call it parting gift. That is, you have stayed here, you have enjoyed yourself, this is for you to remember that you came. God will give to someone here this morning what will make you remember that you came for the feast. Already I'm seeing the angels releasing your own to you, giving you your own package as you go. You shall not leave this feast empty. We saw how that Elijah was about to leave. And there were 51 sons of the prophets that were following. And suddenly the 50 stopped somewhere. But one of them said, I must go further. Don't bother about who is next to you. We are here for business this morning. God does not refer to anyone else before he will bless you. If it is only one who believes, that's the one that God will touch. That one person is here this morning. Is that one person here this morning? If you are the one, raise your hand and say, I'm here, Lord. And so one of them followed. He was conscious. He was aware that something is about to happen. And I want you to maintain that kind of attitude this morning. Something is about to happen. God does not depart from his people without giving them parting gift. Or his people don't depart from him without getting a parting gift. And Elijah turned back to see who was following. And there was Elijah. And so he asked him, what will you have me do for you? That's the question God is asking somebody here this morning. What will you have me to do for you? Second Kings chapter 2 verse 9. Big question. Awaiting somebody who is willing. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said to Elijah, because he was the only one he could find, do all you can to be sure that God can find you where you are this morning. Because his eyes are running to and fro looking for who he will bless. Ask. Elijah said to him, what shall I do for you? Before I be taken away from thee. Before you depart from the presence of the prophet. And Elisha said, I pray thee. Let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. We are here this morning in this prophetic atmosphere. 
And God is set to impart us. The word impart means to put upon. To put upon. To partake of the grace at work in this commission. So that when you go anywhere without announcement, people can say the spirit of the commission is upon him. From today, you will be self-advertising. From today, nobody will ask you, where is your God? From today, nobody will ask you, didn't you say you are close to Bishop Oedepo? From today, nobody will ask you again, don't you say you are a member of that family? Because evidently, it will show upon your life. If you are receiving your say, I'm ready, Lord. Let the double portion of your spirit rest upon me. And so Elijah gave him the condition. You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so to you. But if not, forget it. If you can see me, if you can see me, that's the condition. To see here means to be vigilant. Not all who look see. Only those who are keen see. It calls for your keenness. It calls for your vigilance. Because it can happen at any time. And he went further in the following verse. And it came to pass. It will come to pass for you this morning. I thought somebody said a loud amen to that. And it came to pass. As they still went on. As Elisha remained connected. Don't let any moment bring disconnection to you. As they, he remained connected. And look at that and talked and talked they were talking talking the word you will continue to hear the word in this session as Elijah was talking often than known impartation is done via speaking via talking via declaration via enlightenment becoming empowerment for the word which I speak to you, they are spirit and they are alive. And the spirit entered into me when he spoke unto me. Only those who keep hearing will get the impartation. Don't wait for a moment when they will ask you, bring out your bottle or bring out your handkerchief. The impartation, as a matter of fact, has commenced already. As they went on talking, According to that scriptures, there appeared a chariot of fire. Appearance is preceded by conversation. Conversing the word is what brings about the appearance. I'd like you to get ready. Before this service closes, somebody is taking his own parting gift. Somebody is receiving the delivery of his own takeaway. Because God will be taking of the spirit, the liberation spirit, that will keep you permanently liberated. God is taking it from his servant to put it on someone here this morning. From this moment, they'll be saying, another way the poor has come. Another way the poor has come. Another way the poor has come. If that is for you, say a very loud amen. amen. So keep panting. Because it is your panting that determines your path. If you don't pant, you cannot, if you don't pant, you cannot take your part. Get yourself connected all through the service. In order to take your own part. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. According to Isaiah chapter 44 verse 3. 
I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, upon him that is thirsty, and flood upon your dry ground. No matter how dry your situation is this morning, God is pouring floods upon you. <laughs> Another thing we must prepare to do this morning is to maintain a heart of humility. Humility says, I don't have it enough. I want more of it. Pride says, I'm satisfied. Humility says, I want more. Humility will create a slope so that there can be a flow. Because the anointing, the grace, flows down the hill. Water does not flow uphill, but down the hill. So you have to create a flow in order to enjoy the flow. You have to bow for the flow to reach to you. If you feel you have enough, God says, that's all right. But if you bow to say, Lord, I want more. By creating a slope of humility, then there will be a flow of grace upon you. For he giveth grace to the humble. This morning, you will receive your part. This morning, you will receive your part. After Elijah returned from following Elijah, the status changed. The name change. Everything change. Just as for you, as this impartation service goes on and thereafter, a new name is given to you. A new status is given to you. A new you shall be imagined. If that is like for somebody this morning, I'd like you to rise to your feet and express your desperation in your supplication. Express your desperation. First of all, pray against every spirit of distraction. I will not be disconnected. I will not be distracted. I will not be disconnected. I will not be distracted. In the name of Jesus, maximum concentration is what I engage this morning. Maximum concentration. Maximum concentration. Maximum concentration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Now, begin to boldly declare, I'm going to see everything that I need this morning. Declare it. Now, it's declaration you are making. Make it loud. Make it strong. Yes, I will not miss my part this morning. I will not miss my part this morning. The spirit at work in this commission will not pass me by. It will not jump over me. It's coming upon me. It's locating me. It's locating me. It's coming upon me. In every part of this service this morning, I'm taking my own. By the word that is coming. By the look on God's servant. By the appearance of his servant. Something is reaching out to me. Something is jumping onto me. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is taking of the spirit upon his servant and upon the commission. I'm placing it upon me this morning. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray your prayer with your bold declaration. It's coming to pass. 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 In the name of Jesus. Finally declare, I'm receiving my takeaway. I'm receiving my takeaway. I'm going home with additional grace, additional option. I'm going home with what will be sufficient for me even as I go. Even as I go. As you are thanking God right now, give him the glory because God is performing it. God is confirming it in your life. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Joyfully do so. Because God is visiting with you and I in a very strange manner. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Please get seated and get ready because God is visiting you.